Hey everyone, this is Dr. Comet64. Well, this is my, uh, well, this is actually the garage. As you can tell from my previous videos and stuff, you can tell the shelf here uh, that was in the background before. But uh, this is the new garage that I'm in now. Um, apparently the, the laundry there is kind of uh, a bit loud of the washing machine. But yeah, this is, um, this is great. I really, um, you know, I couldn't, I wasn't able to film uh, in my room as of now because, you know, I don't want to disturb anybody. So I'm here in the garage, uh, the new garage, I should say. And um, yeah, I enjoy being here. It's fun and I can't wait to, um, the bookshelves and stuff are already up and stuff or whatever. So hopefully I'll be able to move back into maybe my old filming location or my film, you know, it's back and forth. But I mean, uh, the purpose of this video, uh, get to the, get to the meat here uh, is I'm going to be doing my introduction to uh, probably one of the probably one of the best maybe by far one of the greatest uh, performers and vocalists and just great artists of the 2000s I don't really know anybody else other than than this guy that I know for sure and that is John Mayer look at that oh yeah perfect love this album i did a, i already did an album review of this album a uh, continuum and uh, oh what a great album oh yeah knock your teeth out for sure but i also love this album though this was this, the album before continuum it's uh, heavier things which i'll do a review sometime what a great album i mean just all three of his albums this his debut album it's perfect but john mayer how did i get into him you know that's you know that this is the purpose the purpose of the my introduction to right. Um, well, during my childhood, like right when I you know I think I was like eight or seven, is uh, I mean when me and my family uh, you know we we moved to uh, you know a different state. So before that, I was living in uh, New Jersey at the time. I was born and raised in New Jersey, and um, I really enjoyed um, that time being there and stuff. And uh, you know, it's funny that you know when moving and stuff, it's kind of you, know, you got to really be acquainted and just uh, it's, you know, it was so different for those times. But this was like uh, 2002, 2003, so this was just a tad there before the move, and I think that was 2004 when I moved to uh, South Carolina. But here, or sorry, not here, but. When I was living in New Jersey, um, I remember my mom, and of course my brother. She would take us to school, and I remember hearing a song called. Not that I don't, don't remember like the title of the song, but I remember that song and him singing it. You know that big song on the radio that was called "No Such Thing," and I was like, by this artist named John Mayer, and I think I ended up. Uh, knowing about John Mayer during like my sixth, seventh grade year and really got into him. You know, I got on Wikipedia, I look up, you know, I looked up some information about the guy, uh, even YouTube videos. Like, you know, there's just really early videos of him, like, uh, you know, early interviews, early like, uh, you know, talk shows. And oh my God, the guy is just absolutely just chill. And, um, he has a he has a big watch collection, and I love watches. So um, he's got a really nice. Uh, there's a video there on YouTube. Um, just you know, type in like John Mayer watch collection. Oh my God! There's two videos. There's one that was from like 2013, and then there's one that just came out I think last year or something. My God, man! But just last week, and it came in the mail actually. And I'm so happy that I got all of Mayer's, well, not all of his, because I know I'm missing like two other albums. Any of you John Mayer fans, you'll probably know. I'm missing Paradise Valley and one more other album. But this is a complete six, well, um, there's a total of six, but there's uh, five official studio albums on this John Mayer um, set here. And you can tell here, there's his first album. But apparently this is an alternate um, as you may know, John Mayer fans, uh, the, he the his first album is called Room for Squares. And uh, that was not 
the cover of that album. It was a different album cover. You know, it was him with a striped shirt on a couch or whatever. There's Heavier Things, which I just showed you already. Um, Continuum, which I've already showed. And I've already mentioned Try on the Continuum, my review of Continuum. Check that out. Um, great live album. Uh, he has Gravity, Vultures. Those were two of those songs off of the Continuum. Then you have uh, Battle Studies, which I haven't like really listened to. Like I didn't, like I never really sat and listened to this album. But uh, this set came out in uh, 2013. Uh, it was done by uh, Sony or <laughs> Sony Music, and um, really just great. Uh, if you're like really into John Mayer, like me, really great set. I mean, you got the CDs here, and then the others in the back here. But just beautiful just uh you got the booklet here and it just shows you the lyrics it shows you like the album covers here's heavier things it's just all oh, beautiful and then finally like my high school year i really got into john air and i used to have um actually i had two uh online radio um you know stuff on my laptop and whatever and i just always constantly listen to john air and stuff and so that's how i got you know, into a lot of his stuff from like heavier things and um, continuum, and you know, I really enjoy like the way he uh, presents his music. You know what I mean? He can just do so many different things. I mean, he can do jazz. I mean, he's a pop rock artist. I mean, he can really just and the blues. He can do blues. I mean, he performed with Eric Clapton, one of the greatest guitarists, blues guitarists of all time, and uh, you know, he really just knocked it out of the park man john mayer just um what a what an interesting guy you know he was born and raised in uh, connecticut and then a uh, majority of his life he lived in you know atlanta to do his first album uh, room for squares and just so many great stuff from that album uh, from why georgia uh you know no such thing that was the first song literally like i did you know already said here earlier that was like one of the first songs i ever heard from him you know what i mean that was like you know but, uh, you know, Neon, um, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, Your Body's a Wonderland, and that won a Grammy, believe it or not, in 2003, he won a Grammy for that song, and um, he's just a really, really great performer, uh, my brother's best friend, believe it or not, he is a real hardcore Mayer fan, and he actually saw him live, I believe during his Battle Studies uh, tour, or whatever, this was back in 2013, he actually saw him live in Charlotte, and um, you know, I remember just being like, hey, you know, how was uh, that John Mayer concert? And he was like, oh, my God. He was blown away. And um, my God, I mean, once this coronavirus thing is over, that's my next, that's my, like, uh, you know, thing to look forward to in the future is uh, going to see John Mayer live. You know what I mean? He's already, I've seen, you know, a few people here and there that I've seen live, like Mickey Thomas from Jefferson Airplane and um you know the little river band and of course my very first concert which i did an introduction to already ted nugent but um what a uh, what an astonishing artist uh, folks if you are a big fan of john Mayer, i suggest you get this 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 set it's just oh it's incredible it's just it's got all this it's, it's all of his great album folks that's all you need like that right there that's all you need if you are a huge John Mayer fan like myself, and um, you know he does great with duets. You know I love his uh, you know uh, the song there with Taylor Swift. Even though I'm not like I'm not a fan of Taylor Swift, but there is a song that he did with her, and um, I think it's called uh, "Back in My Heart." I think I believe. Yeah, it was a pretty big popular song like in 2008, 2009. But anyways, folks, that is it. Uh, my introduction to John Mayer. Simply, he's just a great artist of the 2000s. Made so many great pop songs. I mean, he can just cover, I mean, so much. And definitely uh, his album, Heavier Things, which I might probably review sometime in the future. Uh, he's, got, he's got everything, uh, you know, that he has bring, bringing out to so many of the fans. And he's just such a great uh, musician, you know what I mean? And uh, it's, it's just great, you know. My introduction to John Mayer. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and uh, have a great day.